I'm really a, a proud of our team today. I thought that uh, it was hard. Colorado is it was well prepared. Boy, they have gotten so much better, and uh, they had a heartbreaker on the road last week, and they came out here ready to win a game. And we jumped out on them, and I was hoping that was going to be comfortable, but it certainly didn't last long. And, and I was really worried at halftime because they had taken the lead, gotten momentum. I didn't sense a great bit of emotion on a, in, our, in our locker room. I, so I was like, okay, what's going to happen here? And uh, I was really proud of how we fought. You know, uh, you always want better execution and all that stuff. But I, I think our kids battled. I, their kids battled, and we're glad to win. What was the talk or discussion at halftime? Well, it's a lot of specific stuff about football we wanted to do. And then it was about, hey, we got to get it going here because this is going to be hard and we got to be tougher than them. And we talked last night about being mentally tough. Going, going two weeks on the road after coming home at 5 a.m. on a Sunday, I know you think that's a lot of time to recover, but it's hard. And uh, these kids kind of sucked it up, played hard today. Big, big, big win on the road. Uh, it is, uh, this conference is crazy hard. So we are very thankful to get a win on the road. Brandon Arnold, is he suspended for the first quarter now? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'll have to check that deal right there. So he might be. Sorry, you always mention that you want you know, more balance between the passing and the rushing game. On Thursday, you said it was the passing game that needed to you know, find yeah. that balance. Do you think they found it today? I think it, you'll have to look at it, but it feels like we did. You know, I thought we threw the ball for some good plays. I thought we obviously ran the ball. For some good plays, it was more like I like to see the Beavers look. It looked like a good, balanced football, and uh, that will help us as we go forward. You may have already answered this, but <coughs> that long drive in the fourth quarter that ate up like five minutes, you convert a couple of key third downs. What was the key to that? Nah, I, I think it was. Uh, it's always about third down conversions and making the plays and keeping the ball and and then capitalizing with the touchdown run. I think that that was obviously, as it turned out, the game difference. Uh, so um, but that was a great drive. So how good does this one feel? It feels good. You know, I I, uh, I think it feels a lot better to be four and one than three and two. And it feels good. We got a, a mini break here and we got a Thursday night, a week from Thursday night game. So if, this feels good. Uh, and I like our team. I still think we got some some uh, holes in us, but I think that they fight. And if we keep getting better, I think we did better on penalties, turnovers. I think we did played cleaner football on the road. And you know the other thing that's a, a factor coming here, probably really smart by them, is to keep that thing natural grass. And that is different grass than LA. It's di you know, and it's not what we normally play on anymore. And that's a it didn't sound like much, but it's an advantage. Mike Sean has struggled through that last game, the worst numbers of his career. How did you think he played? You know, I thought he was poised, and boy, he made some, you know, scramble type plays that were, it was just like ugly execution to me. I was so upset, and then I said, oh, yay, you know, it was, it was like, but good football playing is what it was by him, and then the guys made some plays with it. Coach Titans uh, came up big. Um, <coughs> Victor was getting acclimated. Obviously, uh, Victor got it involved late, but the tight ends were big today for him. Yeah, you know, and we we have to get our tight ends involved, and it was that's there were so many disappointing things about that USC game that just hit me right between the face about what has to happen with this team if we're going to be good, and that's one of them. You know, they with their, they're good players, uh, they're they're very capable of, of blocking, pass receiving, and we got to really utilize them as as best we can. What was some of those other things that you say hit you right between the face that when you went back and looked and said, wow, okay, this has to get better, this has to get better, and all that kind of stuff? Well, you know, it was, it's very easy to talk about either pass protection or pass routes or or throwing to the right guy or, you know, those kinds of things are, are very evident. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, that, you know, the utilization of people differently is probably – it's probably the key issue in coaching and seeing what you have and then what you have to do with people in order to be successful. I think that's that's probably the biggest deal for us. What was the key to shutting down Spruce to kind of limiting him? Uh, he's such a good player, and I think our guys, uh, you know, really competed hard. Uh, obviously, the quarterback adjusted because <laughs> he had some pretty good numbers and some real good plays, and he utilized other people, uh, and, and we – 
you know, uh, we certainly have a lot of respect for their whole team, but Spruce and the quarterback are good players. Their running back, hard runner. They got a good team, and they're particularly challenging offensively. Uh, they have quite a bit of stuff in general that challenges you uh, from one coast to the other, basically, and, and uh, they do a nice job with it. Coach, on that final fourth down, what's going through your head pre-play and then after the play? Well, a pre-play, you know, you're always continuing to think about what's down the road if they convert the convert the down, and that's really the main thing that you're thinking about. The other part's easy. You know, we're going to take a knee and finish the game. So, you know, it's really about, you know, what happens after that, what happens if they score. You know, that's that's more of my thinking at that time. What did you see on that targeting penalty? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I don't. I, I'm not arguing it. I don't. I don't know enough about it to know. You briefly mentioned this, but how do you think the elevation affected you guys today? I don't know. I, 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 I'll have to talk. It didn't affect me. I was. <laughs> I was. I felt good. <laughs> what do you feel like this team most needs to address now, going into that second bye week? Oh, I think it just needs. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to. We obviously gave up some yards and some. I think we lost some position. It's all technically getting better now with what you do. You can't reinvent the wheel at this stage of your season. What you have to do is make everything within the wheel get better. And uh, we got to look more at what we need to do with certain people, hopefully keep those people healthy for a bit. We need speed, you all know that. And so even though it wasn't spectacular with Victor and Dockery back today, it, 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 it is helpful. And because uh, we threw a couple of fake fly sweeps for two big Pass, passing uh, completions. So all that stuff's very much a part of our identity. So we need our people to be healthy and stay healthy and continue to work and grow. And and, uh, and then, I don't know, it would have been nice to convert a couple more of those field goals into touchdowns. With everything that uh, didn't go right last week, how nice was it for everybody in your program just to have a positive to come away with? I'm there? glad about that. You know, I think that... Uh, it's kind of confirmation yet of what we can yet do, and and uh, I think it, especially the way that game ended, that was probably pretty discouraging for everybody. You know, I've seen enough games in my life to know that you can come back from just about anything if you really do a good job of it. But I would, I thought that that might have been very discouraging for some of our guys and shaken confidence a little bit. So I was kind of proud. You know, the only way to find out if that's not real is, or real is to see how we competed. And I, we had to compete today against Colorado, and and uh, I thought our kids did real well doing that. What has the run game proven to you over the last couple of games? <coughs> well, that's nice. That, it's very good to run. We all know that was kind of an Achilles heel for us until the last, very last part of the season last year. So. I think it's one thing for us as coaches, it's a kind of a confirmation a little bit of the time spent about trying to be a better running team is, you know, there, there's some reward there. Uh, and we, we can see how important it is to the balance of our team and not having to just pass protect every play. And I think that's that's a very important factor. Yeah, Teron said that a lot of times on third and three, might pass and when he knew he was going to get the ball in that toss play that just pumped him up so yeah does that kind of prove that confidence well that's right i don't think last year i would have called any of those plays like that probably <laughs>